And now, direct from Las Vegas, please welcome the Masters of Magic, Penn and Teller. My name is Penn Gillette, my partner Teller. We are Penn and Teller. Several years ago, we did a series of documentaries for television where we traveled all over the world seeing um, street magic in all different cultures. And about every magician we met had their own version of the cups and balls. And all around the world, the trick didn't change very much, but the props did. And in China, they had these metal cups handed down from generation to generation. And in India, they had these... Um, wooden cups, handmade wooden cups. But we were representing the United States of America, so we used plastic cups and aluminum foil balls, thus having the totally disposable and totally American cups and balls. And it goes, uh, it goes like this. We take the ball, we place it in our hand, we vanish it, and it appears underneath the cup. That's the way it's done all around the world. We just take the ball, we place it in our hand, we vanish it, and appears underneath the cup. Here's a little variation Teller came up with where he takes the ball, places in his hand, shows you underneath the cup, yet it still appears underneath the cup. <laughs> now, if you take that center ball, place it in the center cup, to the two side balls, put them away, they still appear underneath the center cup. But I come over here, do a little bit of juggling, and then a giant ball appears underneath the center cup, one more giant ball on either side, and of course, for the finish, it's an American potato right there. <laughs> now after we had done the American cups and balls for a while, we wanted to kind of zoom in and do a Penn and Teller cups and balls, which involves breaking a few rules of magic. Now the first rule of magic is you never do the same trick twice. So we're gonna. <laughs> Second rule of magic is you never tell an audience how a trick is being done. So we're gonna tell you exactly how the trick is being done. The third rule of magic is you never let the audience see your secret preparation. They must not know what is hidden in which pocket. And the fourth rule of magic is unwritten, but we think any magician in the world would agree with us in a second, that you never ever do the cups and balls with clear plastic cups. <laughs> this is the pen and teller version of the cups and balls. We take the first ball, pretend to place it in our hand, having already snuck it underneath the first cup. Take the second ball, simultaneously secrete it beneath the cup, put place it in our hand, and show it. Take the third and final ball, pretend to place it in our hand, pretend to show it in the cup, replace it in the cup, and then secretly secrete it and reveal it. Now we're all set for a second half, three cups all loaded, three balls on top. With the center ball, please center cup. Each of the side balls, really put them away, we don't need them anymore. We have three duplicates. Center cup, but these three balls come over here. This is not juggling, this calls misdirection. For I look over here, it tells us the final ball under, one more on either side, and of course for the finish, it's an American potato right there. That's the kind of cups and balls. So I'm going to pick, uh, for this next thing, I'm going to pick somebody uh, from the audience. And I sometimes pick people right up front, but I've often felt people who sit back a little bit further should be punished. <laughs> and, uh, let me see here. Yeah, what's, what's your name, please, man? Carol, come up here. Would you please, Carol, right up here on stage here? <laughs> and please watch your, watch your step here, Carol. If you, if you trip and fall, it'll be on YouTube by midnight. <laughs> Carol, this is Teller. Tell her, this is Carol. I'll leave you with Teller. 